If you like playing cards, but you have difficulty holding them in your hands, here's a few devices that you can make out of materials you probably have laying around your house. My name is Preston. Welcome to Enabled.
Now you just watched me make several different kinds of playing card holders. The point I wanted to make in this video is there are numerous solutions to any given problem. And it doesn't have to cost a lot of money and it doesn't have to look pretty. It only has to work. So everything you saw in this video, I had already in my house. So I just went around my house and I found stuff that would work for holding playing cards. Now you might have uh, some of the stuff that you saw in this video, or you might not, but everything that I used in this video is easy to get, and it's also very cheap. Now you can come up with your own things. Um, try to look around and just see the world a little bit differently than maybe you normally would. Don't be discouraged if you want to play cards and you don't have any way of holding them. Look around, find a solution that will work, anything to make yourself inclusive to uh, what everybody else is doing. So just a, a little rundown of how this works if it's not obvious already. Um, we use a very similar um, objects to what we built in this video whenever we play cards with Hayden. So what he will do is he will have a device like this and the, the, every card position is numbered. And he cannot use his fingers, really. Um, he, just, he doesn't have very good use of his fingers. He can move his hands around, but he can't grip anything. And his, his hands are held in the fist position pretty much all the time. So he can't hold cards like a, an abled person um, can hold cards. So we build a device like this, we numbered the positions, and when it's his turn to play, he will say, okay, I want to play card number five. And then I'm usually sitting next to him, so I will pull card number five, and I'll play that card. And then whenever we draw a card, I'll replace card number five in his hand. Now obviously I could cheat and I could see his cards um, whenever I pick them up and draw them, but Come on, hopefully you're not cheating in a game of cards. So that's how that works. Very simple, very effective. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Stay tuned. We've got other things that we're going to build like this. Uh, some a little more extravagant, some just as simple as what we did here. And if you have built something like this or you use something to play cards, uh, let me know. Drop a line in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. Maybe it's something useful for us. Maybe somebody else will get something out of it. We'll see you next time. Almost forgot. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good jazz. Much appreciated. See ya.